Hey guys, so let's just start out with stating the obvious. I got my hair cut. Um, I tweeted and Instagrammed a picture of it, so a lot of you may already know that. But um, I just decided after not doing anything in my hair for almost three years to just chop it off. I said I was probably going to do that after the wedding, especially for the summer. It's just so hot and I don't want to be sitting under a hair dryer for very long. So I chopped it off, um, did some layering in the front. I just kind of told my hairstylist that I just wanted to take it up like to there like I showed her where I wanted and she just angled around the face and did some layering in the back but it's really long layering like it's really not even that obvious um so that's that but anyway from the title of this video you know this video is not about my hair it is a review of my Rebecca Minkoff mini matte clutch and I decided to do this because after I had shown it in my May favorites I got an overwhelming request to show you a what's in my bag video and some more questions about it so I figured I would kind of kill two birds with one stone the last what's in my bag video I did was a while ago and it was on a much bigger bag and I thought this would be a nice different kind of video to make because it is a much smaller bag um, but the biggest thing I wanted to harp on is how much you can actually get in such a little bag so to start out I did buy this at Saks I called the New York store I did get this at Saks and I did it over the phone and um, they sent it out to me. They're originally $195, but you can find them on sale sometimes, which I lucked out and when I called they were on sale. It is the Mocha Color with Rose Gold Hardware. And um, there's a bigger version, it's just called the Matte Clutch. This is the Mini and it's the perfect size for me to be honest. This is how I typically wear mine when I'm running around with it. Um, this has been my everyday bag. You know I traveled with this. I, this was a perfect travel companion. Um, this has been my bag that I've been using every day. Like I had have had no desire to get into a much bigger bag. It's way less pressure on my back and it's more comfortable and it really just limits me to my exact essentials other than just throwing everything into a bottomless pit, which I have done in the past. So this comes in many different colors and different, um, you could get rose gold, gold, or silver hardware. I know the rose gold people are having trouble finding. I don't know if this was like a spring limited edition kind of thing or if it'll be coming back. I honestly don't know, but there are several places that you can get these. Um, you can get them on Zappos.com, Neiman Marcus, Saks, Nordstrom, Bloomingdale's. And usually, like, if Bloomingdale's has a friends and family, it applies to this. So you can get them for a discount. Um, but even at full price, at under $200, I think this is an amazing, practical, thank you for everyone helping me out with that word, practical bag. It's just, it's just perfect. It's even nice for, like, moms, I think, for, you know, moms that have huge diaper bags that don't want to slug around another purse on top of it that you can kind of just either sling this over your shoulder or, and I showed this in the video, these little, there's these little clips and you just undo them and clip them on to the little hooks at the end and it becomes a long crossbody bag. So if I'm in the mall shopping, then I use it as a crossbody, but if I'm running errands or, um, like I said, like from a day-to-day -day basis, I typically kind of shorten it just to have it as like a cute little convenient shoulder pad bag. And you can completely detach the straps and just have it as a nice little clutch. So there's gold hardware there, leather here, gold hardware at rose gold feet. There's a clip here, which if you unclip it, you get another little pocket. I don't have anything in there. I... It's too much of a pain for me to clip and unclip, so I don't really keep anything in there. Um, the new ones have a back pocket. This one's the older one and doesn't have a back pocket. The leather is extremely soft and mushy, and I've read online that these get better with age, which reminds me a lot of my Balenciagas, which my, my very first Balenciaga I've ever purchased is like butter. The leather's ridiculous compared to some of the newer ones that I've bought. So, zipper has some little leather tassels open it up and that's what the inside looks like right because that's a good you can see that um, I'm just gonna go through and show you and just want to show you like how much stuff you can actually fit in here so on this side there's two little pockets my biggest complaint is neither of these fit my iPhone 
that's kind of a bummer. And then this pocket, this side has a zipper pocket. So you can kind of keep, you know, security wise. So let's just go through what is inside here and then I'll show you the uh, inside once it's empty. So first up is a is my iPhone. This is just the iPhone 4. This cover is from Tori Birch, which she sells on her website. I have one of these clips that I always carry this or a hair tie just because I'm constantly like when it's hot out, I want to just throw my hair up. Checkbook, which I don't even really use that. I have a Purell hand sanitizer. I always keep sanitizer on me because I'm like a germaphobe. My keys which have all these little cards. And then this is from Bath and Body Works and I don't have a little pocket back thing to put in it, but I keep it on there and then I usually have sanit Ooh, sanitizer on that too. I have a pack of gum from Mentos and I swear I'm such a sucker. I always go for like the cutest packaging of gum. I didn't even know Mentos made gum, but it's pretty good. I have a Victoria's Secret Angel Reward card. That I just got in the mail that I just threw in here. Um, this is my little um, Louis Vuitton, um, I don't even know what you call this, little business card holder thing. And then inside it is just all my essentials. Um, my credit card, my debit card, my license, insurance cards, all that kind of good stuff. The this is like my wallet, and if I had cash, which I never carry cash on me, I've said that in videos before, I would have cash in here as well. Um, what is this? Oh, this is my fossil watch that I got off Groupon for like $59. I have this, and I have the links, because I just took it to the jeweler to get two links taken out of it. It's really cute. It's the Stella, and I have it in the chocolate brown. It's really pretty. The price tag that came on it was like $135, I think. I have a pen from the Grand Waialea, which is the place that we stayed in Maui when we were in Hawaii. A hair tie. Oh, this is, these are links. This was links from a watch Nick had, and this is my links. Apparently we both have brown watches. There's a whole bunch of change at the bottom. In one of the little packets I have Advil and the rest, lip products. Good big shocker there. So I have my Buxom White Russian, which I always carry on me. I have a YSL Voluptuar Candy in number three. It's basically just a clear gloss, like a clear balm. It smells really good. I have a lipstick in Speak Louder from MAC. I have this um, Revlon Lip Balm Stain in Precious, number 50. And I have a Kors Lip Butter, which I am almost out of. And that is it. I have one little piece of gum. Like I said, a whole bunch of change, bobby pins, and that's it. That's everything. A wrapper from a Hershey Kiss. <laughs> that's it. So you can see it's a pretty decent sized bag. I mean, for just being a crossbody. And just look how it's just oh, folds. It's just so nice. The inside is like a, I don't know, cheetah or leopard print. And it matches the dust bag that came with it, which I need to get. This was the dust bag that came, it came in. Um, it matches the print on the inside and that just says Rebecca Minkoff. And it has like a little drawstring. So that's it. That is what is inside my crossbody bag. I can't even tell you how obsessed I have been with this bag. I think I've had this for just under two months or maybe just over two months but I've had it for a while it has it has really I've broken it broken it in I've yeah broken it in excuse me and it's super super soft and comfortable and it's just so lightweight I mean this coming from a girl who usually only buys like huge handbags because I always feel like I carry so much stuff but I mean for everything I just showed you I think that's pretty decent and I just fit I mean, I don't know what person in their right mind 
needs to have, you know, five lip products in a small crossbody bag. Apparently I do. But I think for the size of this, I mean, you can't beat how much room they give you. So, like I said, um, just under $200, and I think you have an amazing value for your money. And it's almost affordable to the point where if you wanted to buy one in a more, like, trendy or funky color, you can. Because two bags, two mini Mac clutch bags together would equal, like, less than a Louis Vuitton bag, for example. So, I'm even thinking about maybe getting, like, a black one just to have. I'm not big on trendy bright colors like they have a neon pink one which I would love but I just don't think I'll get a lot of use out of it but anyway I will put websites and links to other places that I know that carry this if you're looking for the rose gold hardware my best suggestion would just be to call around and maybe talk to some um, sales associates and ask them like you know maybe where maybe they could do like a store search store wide search like a nationwide search for the rose gold or maybe they could tell you when rose gold will come back out. I don't see them never making this bag with rose gold hardware anymore because it's so trendy right now and like all the rave for everyone. So keep searching. I'm sure you'll find it. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this review and found it helpful. Um, highly recommend this bag. Can't say it enough. It's just so practical and I never thought I would love a small bag as much as I love this one. Um, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye.